Do you know which supplements should never be mixed? In the contemporary world of health and wellness, dietary supplements are as popular as ever. They're an integral part of our daily routines, promising to fill the nutritional gaps, boost our energy levels, and enhance our overall well-being. However, as the saying goes, too much of a good thing can be a bad thing. And this is particularly true when it comes to mixing supplements. Although these capsules of health benefits seem harmless, they can pose potential risks when improperly used or combined. The complex dance of vitamins, minerals, and other nutritional supplements within our bodies is a delicate balance, and tipping the scales can lead to unintended consequences. Just like medications, supplements can interact with each other in ways that may diminish their effectiveness or worse, lead to adverse health effects. So, it's not just about what supplements you take, but also how you take them. So let's delve into the science behind why certain supplements should never be mixed. Do you ever wonder if your daily multivitamin, fish oil, and calcium supplements might be a dangerous mix? Let's delve into a few examples that illustrate the potential hazards of combining certain supplements. Firstly, consider the pairing of calcium and iron. Both are critical for our body's optimal functioning. Calcium plays a key role in bone health, while iron is essential for red blood cell production. However, when taken together, calcium can actually inhibit the absorption of iron. This could potentially lead to iron deficiency, with symptoms such as fatigue, weakness, and an increased susceptibility to infections. Next on our list is the combination of vitamin D and vitamin K. Vitamin D helps our body absorb calcium, while vitamin K ensures that calcium gets utilized in our bones and not in our blood vessels. Consuming high doses of vitamin D without a sufficient amount of vitamin K could lead to calcium deposits in the heart and blood vessels, potentially increasing the risk of heart disease. Another potentially hazardous combination is zinc and copper. Both are trace minerals necessary for our health. But when zinc is taken in high doses, it can interfere with the body's ability to absorb copper. This could lead to a copper deficiency causing symptoms like anemia and weakened immunity. The last combination we'll discuss today is B vitamins and multivitamins. B vitamins are often already included in multivitamin supplements. If you're taking a separate B vitamin supplement in addition to a multivitamin, you might be getting more than your body can handle, leading to an overload. Symptoms of B vitamin overdose can include skin conditions, high blood sugar levels, and even nerve toxicity. These examples illustrate just how important it is to understand what happens when we mix supplements. It's crucial to know not just the benefits but also the potential interactions and side effects. After all, when it comes to our health, knowledge truly is power. But why do these harmful interactions occur between certain supplements? A question that piques the curiosity of many. Let's delve into the science behind supplement interactions. To begin, it's essential to understand that our body is a complex system with numerous metabolic pathways. These pathways are like highways, each designed to transport specific nutrients to where they're needed. Now, imagine two different supplements trying to use the same pathway at the same time. That's a traffic jam waiting to happen and can lead to decreased absorption or effectiveness of one or both supplements. For instance, calcium and iron when taken together compete for the same absorption pathway. This competition can result in a decrease in the absorption rate of both nutrients. Similarly, some supplements can also speed up or slow down the metabolism of others. Take for example St. John's wort, a commonly used herbal supplement. It's known to speed up the metabolism of certain medications, potentially reducing their effectiveness. Furthermore, our body's capacity to process nutrients plays a significant role in supplement interactions. Simply put, there's a limit to how much our bodies can handle at any given time. Overloading the system with too many supplements can not only reduce their effectiveness, but also potentially lead to toxicity or adverse side effects. It's much like trying to cram too many people into an elevator. There's only so much space, and exceeding that limit can cause problems. Lastly, it's worth noting that everyone's body is unique. What works well for one person might not work for another due to differences in genetics, diet, lifestyle, and overall health. This individual variability further complicates the science of supplement interactions. It's a delicate balance, isn't it? Now that we know why these interactions occur, let's explore how to safely use supplements. So, how can we ensure we're using supplements safely and effectively? This is a question we all must ask ourselves when considering the addition of supplements to our daily routine. One of the most critical tips for safe supplement use is to consult with a healthcare professional. 
This expert can provide personalized advice based on your unique health profile, taking into account any existing conditions or medications you may be taking. They can also help you navigate the vast sea of available supplements, highlighting those that are scientifically proven and steering you away from those that aren't. Next, it's essential to avoid high dosages of supplements. More isn't always better, and in fact, it can be quite the contrary. Some nutrients are toxic in large amounts, and others can interfere with the body's absorption of certain essential minerals. It's best to stick to the recommended dosages unless advised otherwise by your healthcare professional. Another tip is to space out different supplements throughout the day. By doing this, you're less likely to overwhelm your system with a sudden influx of nutrients. This also helps to ensure optimal absorption, as some supplements are best taken with food, while others are more effective on an empty stomach. It's also worth noting that not all supplements are created equal. Quality matters a great deal, so it's crucial to choose supplements from reputable manufacturers. Look for products that have been independently tested for purity and potency, and be wary of supplements that promise miraculous results. Lastly, always listen to your body. If you start a new supplement and notice any adverse reactions, such as nausea, dizziness, or a rapid heartbeat, stop taking it immediately and consult with your healthcare professional. By following these guidelines, you can reap the benefits of supplements without risking your health. Implementing these tips into your routine can help you safely and effectively use supplements to enhance your well-being. Knowledge is power. And in this case, it's the power to make informed decisions about your health. So arm yourself with it and stride confidently on the path to wellness. Remember, your health is your wealth and it should never be taken for granted. By following these guidelines, you can reap the benefits of supplements without risking your health. Well, isn't it fascinating to learn about the science of supplements and their interactions? We've embarked on a journey today, unraveling the mystery of mixing supplements, delving into specific examples of hazardous combinations, and understanding the scientific principles that govern these interactions. It's been an enlightening exploration, hasn't it? We've discovered that not all supplements play well together. Some, like calcium and iron, can interfere with each other's absorption, while others, like St. John's wort and antidepressants, can lead to serious health consequences. It's clear that knowledge about these interactions is paramount to our well-being. Further, we delved into the science behind these interactions. We learned how certain supplements can compete for the same absorption pathways, while others can enhance or dampen the effects of medications. A complex dance indeed, but one we can navigate with the right knowledge. Lastly, we shared tips for safe supplement use. From consulting healthcare professionals before starting any new supplement regimen to spacing out the intake of potentially conflicting supplements, we've armed you with practical strategies to maximize the benefits and minimize the risks of supplement use. If you found this video informative and want to learn more about health and wellness, do subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us continue to provide more educational content like this. Stay healthy, stay informed, and thank you for watching.